Wow. I, I who am nothing. I, I who have no one. Adore you and watch you so. I'm just a no one. She can take you any place she wants To fancy clubs and restaurants While I can only watch you with my nose pressed up against the window such an incredible, unique, beautiful, magnificent voice. Where are you from? I am from Arlington, Texas. Yes, from mom. Yes. Wow. We're about to go at it for you. Wow. We're about wait, to go wait a at minute, it. Simone, hold on. <laughs> I'm just checking these buttons. I got to make sure. There. No, you know what? I, I don't know what to tell you. They're working. I, they're just... Let me tell you right now, like, mm, to me, you were not competing in this moment. Like, I felt like I was just at your show and I was front row, like, yes, with my friends. Thank you so much. And I can see myself showing my friends my goosebumps and being like, this girl is so amazing and being what? serious. I mean, I have like cold chills all over and I want to help you win this show. I want to be there because I feel like you were already performing to them. You were performing yeah. to me. Once I had turned, you were all around. You were performing like, I okay. love you. I am obsessed with her. Okay, so the song starts, right? And I hear like, right. and I'm like, Right. What's about to happen right now? It's incredible. I'm thinking someone's gonna come out with jangly spurs and be like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then it's Simone and it's just like, whoa, this is crazy, crazy good. And then I said, like, bam, and I turn. <laughs> to my surprise, Miley turned, which is a mildly frustrating thing. Because <laughs> I was hoping that everybody would be silly and not turn around. I love you so much. Dude, I would never. like right now, I am a monstrous animal and I know I'm gonna get you on my team. Yes, okay? you are. And when I do, I'm gonna be able to prove to everybody you are a one-off. You're gonna be able to show everybody everything that you can do. And you can do that on my team. All right? Yes. I love Arlington, by the way. I love Arlington, Texas. Uh, he may try to throw me under the bus right now, but just ignore him if he does. People try out for this show for the experience of working with another artist and not working with some buttoned up, snooty record executive I want you to look down that way. Wait a minute, time out. And tell time me out. who looks like a free-spirited artist. Time out, time and out. Who has no, a, no, who no, no, I'm not going to let like you do You know what? No, do corporate. it right now is not corporate fair. Corporate is the word. I hope that those things don't phase you because it is nonsense. I'm not a record executive, I'm a songwriter. I am wearing a suit because suits are awesome. That's right, because he's fly. I actually really like him in the suit. Thank you, Mike. He does look handsome. I would just like for you to show more of your personality, and I think that's what I could help you do. No matter what you want to do in the world, I want all your doors to be open. So I want everyone to see what you can do, no matter what that is. Wow. You Come gotta on. decide. Come home. Come home, Simone. 
Come on. Riley. Come on, Simone. Riley. Come on. Riley. I pick. I pick Adam. Yes. Yeah. a foul at the spot of the no, mines. No, not a foul. That was a feeling. That is out of bounds. That was a whew. What's your name? Lauren Diaz. First of all, the fact that you sang an Alicia song and then she was the one that turned around first, does not, it's, it's over? I know, I turned for fun. Uh, I turned for fun. <laughs> done, it's done. And then she went and hugged her. Because, yeah. did you hear that? It was the icing on the cake was the like, hug. It's over. Hey, I am willing to make an ass out of myself to show you how badly I want to be your coach. That's right. I'll do stupid stuff like that right there. Your voice is undeniable. And for you to be able to have the courage to sing in front of her already shows who you are as an artist. If you want to sing Alicia and then go with me and confuse everybody. It would be so much weirder. It would be voice history. It would be so much weirder if she went with Blake. Yeah, Blake is out. Come you on, know, Lauren. I would love you to be on my team, but she's getting you no matter what. I look forward to you guys working together, okay? Thank you so much. I mean... It's like, it's the, the sky is blue, the grass is green, this girl's on Alicia's team. Yeah, like, I know. You know what I mean? Like, I know. Hey, Lauren, I am not going to accept it. I don't care how cute Adam's poem is. It gets to the point where somebody is so talented, it's just disrespectful <laughs> to not hit your button. Lauren, you're an incredible singer, and you Thank look you. like a superstar standing so up there. You're yeah. beautiful. Woo! Now, Alicia, go ahead and put the hammer to my head <laughs> and get it over with. Oh, wow. First, Lauren. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Can, can you just tell me a little bit about you? Well, I have a four-year-old son. Oh, um, wow. I grew up playing the piano and singing all of wow. your music. And I stopped when I had my son, and I can't even believe this is freaking happening. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up, okay? I mean, I'm know. not gonna throw up, but. There's no denying this God-given talent that you have. And I just know that you and me are meant to be together. <laughs> if you decide to choose anyone else, I will say absolutely not. I will go kicking and screaming. Hey, Lauren, that will make for good TV, so There's come on. There's things that I believe are right 
We both have sons. I have dogs and cats and a lot of them. <laughs> Way more cats hey, than you can ever have. I kids. possibly do. No. Possibly. That's no. terrible. That's terrible. It is. It's just the way you interpreted that song, that's the reason why I sing. And that's the reason why I see that you sing, is so that you can touch somebody. Right. So I just want to say, some people want it all. I can't. But I don't want nothing at all. Dang. If it ain't your love. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Who do you think is your coach? My son wants me to pick Blake, but I pick Alicia Keys! Yeah, something like a strong wind is coming over me. It's got a hold of me. I shouldn't be, really shouldn't be. Give it one more call, so one more what you're doing right now. Just the one more trip to my side of town, and you walk right in. One more, here we go again. One more drink leads to another. You slide up close to me, tear a t shirt off each other. Your hands all over me. I tell myself I'm not in love, but one more time is not in You can stay a little longer Josh Gallagher, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Woo! I love your boots and baseball cap. I'm happy you don't have a cowboy hat on right now. <laughs> that is the new cowboy hat. So I always think there's some things that's too country, maybe like Blake. Maybe that'll make you go to Alicia. <laughs> I didn't turn out of my own insecurity that I felt Blake was just going to have it, so I just sat here, but I'm regretting it, and you're radical. you got a great voice. Thank you. You're awesome. I have now had to enter therapy to recover from constantly getting stomped by people <laughs> going to Blake's team when they sing country music. It's a process. I'm still recovering. So there's nothing I would love more than Alicia being able to Why? charm her way into, into Why would you coaching you. do that you. to Josh? You, are you mad at Josh? You don't Y'all like two are him? so cute together. Uh, they are no. they. Adam and I? Yeah, y'all are cute. Oh, he is. He is. He's... God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around because to me, music doesn't have a box. It doesn't have a genre. You have a beautiful voice. And to me, country, the blues and soul are all brothers. So right, this yeah. whole idea about like, because you're from Nashville, you can only go with Blake, I would strongly suggest that you make <laughs> another decision. I feel that we could really create some magic. And so I'm ready to be exciting. Let's be exciting. <laughs> Are you originally from Nashville, or you just live there now? I'd be two years in August that I've been in Nashville. Man, I'll tell you something. Country music is my life. I moved to Nashville when I was 17 to do what I'm doing still to this day. I've been having records on the radio for 16 years now. And the most fun for me at this point is to be able to help this next group of country artists that are coming along and help open doors for them. And when people say, you got to think outside of the box, well, you know what? 
I don't want to. I want to be a country artist. I want to live that way. I want to die that way. That's all I care about is country music. I want to see that happen for you too, man. Josh, who would you like to choose as your coach? something different or else you wouldn't even be here <laughs> you know it's obvious why you're here josh knows why he's here he wants to make it in nashville let's do it man i uh i'm a blue jean wearing everyday kind of guy the uh, coach that i pick is blake I'll probably always have these ugly scars But right now I don't care about that vibe I bust the windows out your car After I saw you laying next to her I didn't want to but I took my turn I'm glad I did it cause you had to learn I can already tell no. I like her. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. I love her. What's your name? Bindi Leibowitz. Bindi. 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 Nice. Bindi. Thank you, thank you. All right, listen. Why are we standing up? I'm standing up because I'm feeling something. Did you pee in your pants or something? Or what do you mean? Are you feeling something? Bindi, stay with me. I'm not letting this go there. I, it's too important. Okay. So when I started listening to you, I was like, wow, just stop being so great just for a second so that I can just have you to myself I was two seconds out and that happened <laughs> what I loved about you was your choices you made you made some amazing choice I can't believe you no I, I wanted to turn around you know you regret this she screwed the pooch uh, stop it it has been an hour since she sang can I say something now <laughs> Bindi. please can I Bindi. talk to Bindi Bindi what? Yes. I literally, I love, I love you. I love you too. I need you. She felt weird about saying love on the first day. Hi, Bendy. Hi, Blake. I am clearly the odd man out here. I'm manly enough to handle it. I barely enough to handle it. <laughs> when you sing, you have all of these different influences, these things that are ear candy to somebody like me. And by the way, I don't have anybody else like you on my team. And if I got you on my team, I would love to protect you and keep anybody else like you from being on my team. Please, I've been coaching and doing this show for a long time, Bindi. Same amount of time. <laughs> and interestingly enough, he hasn't won this as many times. You I have won this show wanted... with Southern Rockers. Oh my God. I have won this show with country artists. I have won this show with pop singers and with an R&B guy. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a country artist. That's what I do when I walk on stage. I'm a coach when I'm on this show. I want to work with you, Bindi. I love you. There's nothing I want more than to even the score. You really want to be with a guy like that who has nothing to prove? Dang. You want to be with the champ? I mean, why would you want to do that? Just hang out one second. I love your attitude and your energy. It's all coming through. Thank you so much. Who do you pick as your coach? Sex and candy, yeah. When oh, who's that lounging in my chair? And who's that casting 
devious stares in my direction Mama, this surely is a dream Yeah, yeah, oh Caffeine. I was thinking about myself, then there she was. And platform of a sway, yeah, there she was. Rock disco lemonade. My name is Dave Moison. I'm gonna get a hug in because we all turned around. Oh, thank you. Uh, so I heard a little bit of this one in there, so I got scared that there might be like a default. I heard a lot of me in there. Well, I take that as a high compliment. Well, other than turning around first and believing in you first before anybody else, I went there because, man, falsetto is hard. Yeah. You just have this way of getting into there and it's seamless and it's perfectly on key but it's also soulful and smooth. I just felt instantly connected and I want you and I need you and you're the greatest. Thank you so much. He doesn't talk to his wife like that. <laughs> I've never actually had someone on my team oh my who I God. felt like almost in a way like we're similar. So he's going to be like your puppet. You're going to have a little puppet and you can make him do whatever you, you want to do. You can say things but that's like not what you can like try to put words in my he's mouth like but it's not going to work. He's way taller. <laughs> to say you're a younger, better-looking version of himself. You got me blushing now. Do you sing full-time? I don't. I'm actually a medical device salesman. How does a medical device salesman find the passion that you have? Where did it start? I was actually at a Maroon 5 show. Dang. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, why do you have to ask that? You may not remember this, but I got to go backstage and we actually hung out. Whoa! Oh, see, he didn't even remember you. I would always remember you. I'm so happy I did that. And then you went to one of my concerts. Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah, no. Look, Dave, I think you're, you're incredible. I don't know what else I can say knowing that you're in Adam's fan club. And I don't blame you. Adam's a talented guy. He's a good-looking guy, but he is a crappy coach. Don't, don't, no. With your style of voice, I can understand how it would make sense for you to go with Adam, but I don't think we should always go with the most obvious decision. In this world, there's already Adam Levine. We don't need two. Amen, sister. We barely need one. Just kidding, I love you actually so much. I truly, truly do. So I think what I would want to do for you is figure out what makes you different. And by the way, I have no interest in making you a version of me. I want you to be your version of you. But I also believe that I'm the best person for you. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. I know Adam is on his, I'm not gonna let you go rant. But I know that I would be a perfect coach for you. You know, I have that knack of bringing a soulful experience into the real world where you can really feel it. I think Adam's is not as deeply rooted as mine. Wow. Wow. And so I feel like yeah. I could really help. I can play for you and you're going to be like, this is how it feels. And it can be that real classic song thing when you have magic and it really just happens. I feel like that's what we can do. And I feel like there's, I like you know, this I, fighting I, I recognize mm -hmm. the value in exploring new roads, new places. And I hope that you choose me to be a coach. Thank you so much. Hey, Dave, it's time. Who do you pick as your coach? Break the mold. Break the mold. You are the man. What do you think? Adam, he's got it. This is seriously like the hardest decision of my life. Come on, Adam, Adam, Adam. Come on, Dave. Let's do something different. I pick Alicia.
she's looking at you I'm starting to think you want her too, yeah Am I crazy? Have I lost ya? Yeah. Even though I know you love me, can't help it And I turn my chin music up And I'm puffing my chest I'm getting red in the face You, you can call me obsessed It's not your fault that they hover I mean no disrespect It's my right to be hellish I still get jealous When you're the only one invited So there is no one else but you And you know Puffing my chest, it's my right to be hellish. I still get jealous. That's why. Oh, 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 oh. I still get jealous. What's your name? My name is Dana Harper. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Yes, yeah. Dana. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you sounded so great. I don't know how I could have helped. And I think the most important part of this show is finding somebody that you learn enough that you're going to make this your life, your career. I don't know if you already are a singer. Or... Um, I've been singing for about 15 years. And I've always had this deep thing going on and didn't really know what to do with it when I was a kid. I know. I've, I know you know. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> there was magnificent control in your voice. And really, I mean, it's so warm, too. And I mean, you have such a beautiful tone. I feel like I hear your life, you know what I mean, coming through. Thank you so much. Well, I'll tell you, I turned around, obviously, pretty late. And I'm like, I wonder if she's going to go high. So when you went there, I was like, oh, boop, there you go. I felt like, wow, she's got everything in her arsenal. She was floating. Like, it was really floating. So easy. How come it's so easy for you? My niece, Savannah, is, that's our song. We always sing Jealous in the Car together, so. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Blake. Hi. Hi, Dana. Hi, how are you? I love you. I love you. <laughs> Daddy. Do you still? Oh. My dad, my dad. Oh, I thought you were calling him daddy. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, get it. Get it, daddy. Daddy. Hey, come on. Well, I mean... <laughs> hey, Blake. <laughs> uh, no, daddy. No, I was just joking. No. <laughs> it's getting weird. I know. I just want you to know how weird Hollywood is. How gross, filthy people like Adam were born here. You feel the hate and throws at me? It, you know what? It hurts. Give it love. It's all love. So he's the wrong guy for you, obviously. That aside, what no girl, I think, has, maybe anywhere, has that lower area that they can go and explore. And I think that that's something that you should use to your advantage, that people hear you on the radio, it's instantly, oh, that's, that's Dana. Who else can do that's something right. like that? That's you know right. what I'm saying? I know I'm a country singer, but that's just what I do when I'm on stage. When I'm on this show... I'm a coach. Whatever you are, it's about me helping guide you through this process. All right. Who do you pick as your coach? I'm ready. Yeah.